How's it going guys? My name is Eric Van Wilderman and welcome back to Geometry Dash. In this video we're going to be doing Lonely Travel by Funny Game, which is a very oft requested level. It's super long, it's a six minute long demon level, and while the level isn't doesn't really get to demon difficulty. Like, it's not that hard. It's just, if you die, if you make one small mistake later on in the level, you've just wasted like four to five minutes of gameplay. And uh, the end of the level is the harder part. It's, uh, there's some tricky bits at the end. A little tricky. You can easily mess up, I should say. But I mean, still, it's not that bad. You just gotta kinda focus your mind for six minutes and not be distracted. So this level is very beautiful. It's an amazing level and I don't want to ruin it with my commentary and face cam. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you guys through practice mode and then I'm just going to do the level because uh, there's no point in just talking through this level. It is just way too beautiful, way too bootyful for that. So let's just go. So the first parts are pretty easy and the first parts of this level are all black and white. I think this level is actually like, it says lonely travel and there's a bunch, it looks like there's a bunch of different like time periods in here. So I was wondering if it was like the story of a time traveler or something that sees many different things like the beginning of the world and uh, you know, different time areas of humanity because there's like pyramids at the end and stuff like that. But I, I don't know, I don't know. Maybe I'm just thinking too much about it and it's just like a cool little aesthetic. So as you can see, so far it's pretty easy. Like, you'd be like, well, this is a demon, what the hell? But I mean, you, you gotta focus for <laughs> six minutes and that's, oh my god. I can't believe I did that, that was really stupid. So you gotta focus for six minutes long and that's what makes this level really hard. What am I doing? It's because I'm talking while I'm playing this. It's, it's, that's not good. I gotta, okay, come on, here we go. So after that part, you just go up. You swing up, it's really easy. The first coin's about to come soon. Right here, you just kind of hold the button, you jump up here, grab the coin. Easy peasy. Now we got like a really easy robot part. See, look, it looks like we're in like some ancient ruins or something, doesn't it? So one would think maybe we're doing time traveling, but I don't know, maybe. I'm just thinking too much about this, aren't I? It is called lonely travel. And if we were time traveling, we'd be a lonely traveler. Okay, this is the first bit that comes up that's like mildly tricky. You just gotta make sure you, you time your jumps properly so you don't get like out of the pattern. Like it's really easy to uh, get in a situation where you can mess yourself up like that, right? I should have been able to go over there, but before I hadn't prepared myself properly. So what I gotta do is I gotta get a little bit higher or you can just do that. I mean, there's a lot of room to get through there. Um, yeah, that's there's a lot of room. <laughs> what am I even saying? There's tons of room. And this part is super easy. I mean, this is like a really easy wave part. You just wiggle wiggle through here. Yeah, there, there's a lot of space here. And this part's like the easiest. It gives you a little bit of relaxation. Like, hey, check out the beautiful scenery. It's from a movie. And, and this is also part of the thing why I think it's time travel. Because it's black and white, it's like a black and white movie and it was at the dawn of movie making. So, you know, maybe, okay, here is like a part that people find tricky. You gotta wait until it says one, right? Right after like one pops up, then you can go. And like, you gotta just memorize the parts where the jump rings are. You just gotta count. It goes like one, two normal jumps, then a jump ring, and then you jump three times and then there's a jump ring. Uh, this part can seem tricky at first, but it's not that bad. The mini UFO part's really easy when you're a bit thicker, when you're a bigger UFO. It's crazy. Now this part is uh, basically when you tap the button, the spikes will change. So I died there on purpose. I just want to show you guys this. Um, so when I tap the button, the spikes will change. So for example, I'm going to die here. If I go up here, but then I press the button, the spikes change and I die. I can't get down there. So I got to wait until I'm clear from the spikes before I can change the positioning of them. And so it's, it's a, that's a really cool gameplay feature. That is super neat. And then you just do the part accordingly according to that, which is just remembering what's coming up in memorization. Very easy, nice rocket, or er, rocket, what am I talking about? Nice, easy robot part. But you gotta watch out because there's the coin there if you want to get the coin. If you're into that sort of thing, if you're into the bling, then you want to get that coin. And here's another easy part where we just coast along. And see, I, you know, when I was originally playing this level, I thought it was like our journey to heaven, right? Because of this part and the color at the end, like the color parts at the end is like, oh, did we reach heaven or whatever? But I still think it's about time travel because there's like pyramids at the end. I was like, well, this is like, why was there pyramids in heaven? Just doesn't make sense. Cause see the clouds right here. That's why I was thinking maybe we're going to heaven, but um, 
I'm not so sure about that. I definitely think it's time travel and we're a lonely traveler. Or we're traveling between worlds. That could be it. We could be traveling between worlds. So this part wasn't too tricky. This part right here, you just gotta, just gotta remember when to jump. That was super stupid of me. See, that's the kind of thing that would piss me off is like, if I'm like four minutes into this level and I die to that spike, that would be super shitty. Okay, let me focus here and explain this part. So this part, you gotta make sure not to jump too early with those spikes. A lot of the times when you hit the ground like that, you gotta jump right away or else you're gonna die. Like here, if you jump right away, you're gonna die there. So you gotta wait just like a split second and then continue on your merry way. So some parts are a little harder than others. And now it starts to get a little hard because there's these white orb things that are flying around and if you touch them, you're gonna die. See, I'll show you. You touch it and you die. And uh, it can be a little tricky to avoid. You need to make sure you're on the right pattern. I like to stay low here. Low, low, low. Stay low, don't go high. And now I go over this one high and then this one comes up and you go and you tap that block and you keep on going through here. And now it's just easy. And doing this as the wave is super easy. The UFO is way harder than the wave going through this section. I've n I don't think I've ever died as the wave to these orbs at all. They're really easy to dodge, but as the UFO, you can get off track really easily. And so sometimes it's hard to correct yourself again. And now we got another nice easy segment where we just jump over some blocks and some cogs. But it's cool, it's like, see I originally thought with the heaven analogy that this was like the stairway to heaven, but no, I don't, I don't think so. And now we gotta get the first and the third keys to get the last coin. And off we go. Now we're in the sky, and this is another part that looks very heavenly. So, we can't touch those sides parts, but um, there's a lot of leeway, like it, there's a lot more space than it looks like. So you gotta stagger your wave a little bit. As you can see, I'm not just like going straight up. I'm like staggering it. If you don't stagger it, you're gonna die. Okay, fall down here. That part might trick me up because sometimes I just like to jump. And now we're on, oh, this part's easy. What am I talking about? But this part's really cool though. I like the way it looks, the forest. But now we gotta get ready for the next hardest part near the end here. This is just as hard as the orbs, the UFO orb parts. Another UFO part. Uh, we gotta dodge like these stars falling from the sky. Now, um, to make this easy, you wanna stay up. Yeah, staying up is better than staying down. Down, it's a little trickier to dodge. Um, if you go up towards the top of the screen, I find it's a little easier. You gotta go down sometimes though. And then this is just the home stretch to the end. Once I'm here, I got it. If I died here, I would just, I don't know what I would do with myself. I'd probably slap myself in the dick. That's my punishment. And off we go to the end. But there is one more! Wait for it! Wait for it! Oh, you spike. Okay, I take it back. If I die there, I would really slap myself in the dick. Or I'd get someone else to do it. Well, anyways, I'm just gonna play the level now. And I want you guys to witness it with the music. Without me. Because it is very beautiful. It is... It's amazing. So let's see how long it takes. I will show some deaths though. If I die at some parts, I mean, I'll show my reactions to that. But after I you finish like a death montage of sorts, we will see the level in its entirety without me. What? No, I got I, the two spikes there. I jumped over them, but I just hit like the edge and I fell down and so I couldn't jump up. Oh, that's bullshit. It's only 45%. Holy shit, I felt like I was playing forever! Oh, now I'm just off my game. That was, a, that was a hard death to take. I was doing really good. But I mean, there's still so much of the level left. What?! What did you do? You just spikes? Was Why did you go? Oh, oh. Oh no, I jumped way too many times there, bullshit. I know I jumped too many times. I was right at the end of that segment. There was literally like three seconds left there. No way, I should have just jumped twice. What the hell was I thinking? Oh, that's such a big fail. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. All the way back to the beginning. I just, oh no. What? The scr- I jumped in a weird place and the screen like shifted down. Oh no, I broke the game! I broke it! I broke the level. I'll poop.
one. Yes. Coast it till the end, baby. Hello, pyramids. You're my friend. I love you. It means we've beaten this level, yay. But don't forget that last spike. Come on. It was cool, I really dig it. But don't hit that spike. Oh yeah, I'm so good at making them beats. The music stopped. Wow, this level is so cool. I love it so much because it's not too hard. So you have a fighting chance throughout the whole thing. You have to be consistent though. And uh, the song is awesome too. The song reminds me of something that would come out of uh, like Shadow of the Colossus. I don't know if you're too familiar with it. I did a playthrough of it. It's very cool. Like Shadow of the Colossus or uh, the Princess Mononoke or something like Joe Higashi. Very cool. I love it so much. Wow, that's so cool. Anyway, so Funny Game always makes really good levels. It's always cool when he makes a new one. Um, he doesn't make frequent levels, but when they do come out, they're amazing. So yeah, it's it's worth the wait. Huh! This level's so cool. So anyways, um, I practiced this a lot. Reason being is I reformatted my computer recently and I was getting a lot of screen tearing and I had to tweak the settings a lot. So I was practicing through it. So I think I'm over like 300 attempts. Yeah, a lot of those were just attempts when I was practicing um, during the screen tear though, and I was trying to fix it. Because um, reformatting sucks. But I did manage to fix it. I had to tweak a lot of my NVIDIA G4 settings. It was kind of a pain in the butt. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed. Remember to leave a like down below. And uh, I'll see you in future Geometry Rash videos. As always, guys. Peace.